Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Poke Penguin. I hope you are all doing well and happy release day of the newest Scarlet and Violet set, Paradox Rift. Um, today we will be opening up a full booster box because I know people want to see the full cross section of the set and, uh, you know, pull rates of a booster box. So instead of splitting up into two parts this time, I will be doing one part. And then uh, future videos, we will have the ETBs and all that fun stuff. Maybe other collection boxes they release within that time frame. But um, this set is absolutely massive, so... You know, I feel like it would only be right to open up the full booster box in today's video. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. I think this set is the largest Scarlet and Violet set so far, even beating out. I think the last biggest one was Paldea Evolved. Um, it's got three Japanese sets into this one English printing of it. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of all of them. I know one was like Raging Surf. Um, and then the other two were released in Japanese at the same time as I think Paradox Rift was re released over in all the other languages. Um, I can't remember the names. They're um, both a future and past one. Um, if I, you know, can find the set names, I'll throw them up on the screen. But um, we have all these fun pack arts. We have the Garchomp from Raging Surf. We have Iron Valiant, Armor Rouge. Um, and Roaring Moon, I believe. I think this is Armour's. Um, there's two of them. There's the, the red one and the purple one, I think. But these are all the pack arts for this set, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Hopefully this booster box is a little bit better than the, uh, the Paldea Vald one that we got. We, we kind of got a little gypped with that one, where we got a gold card instead of a, uh, secret art rare, which I think I would have preferred getting a secret art rare, but, you know... Pokemon cards is low-key a form of gambling, or should I say high-key, I don't know. But uh, it's it's fun, you know, you play your chances and see if you get something good. With our first pack, we got a hit with this Goldango EX, and that is one of the chase cards of this set with the, the secret art rares, actually. The uh, Goldango and um, Gimme Ghoul cards, uh, both of the art rare versions of them, they can connect into one big uh, piece of art, so... That's a, a good uh, omen, I guess, for this box. Our, our first pack, we got to pull with this Goldango EX. Super, super cool. Um, a lot of people are calling him the, the cheese stick man. Um, <laughs> with all the, the gold stuff and his, his hair and everything. I just think it's funny. Um, Goldango is the technically the 1,000th Pokemon. So they kind of made him like this lucky looking, rich looking guy. Um, if you look at the Podex, Pokedex in uh, Scarlet Violet, he's listed as number a thousand so that's a fun little fact for you guys but uh yeah this is my first time opening up anything paradox rift i've seen a few videos online of you know the cards that we can see in this set and this is a uh, one of the special type of cards that we are gonna see in the set this is an ancient version um it's a hollow i really like that the hollow kind of bleeds down into the bottom area with the the ancient pattern. So we have this type of card, uh, in this case it's Brute Bonnet, and then we also have Future where it'll be like more of a pixelated type of texture on the side here. But this is our first look at an ancient hollow. I really like how it bleeds down into that ancient pattern and then it kind of fades out a little bit over here. But another great pull. I'm just gonna stick that back there because it looks different. I think, I think it looks nice. Um, and then hopefully we can see a future hollow soon and uh, see the, the comparison with those. Um, I, I'm really liking what I've seen from this set. It's really, really big, so I don't think I have any um, real drive to complete the full thing. Oh, that's a very cute gibble, by the way. I normally name my gibbles chompers because <laughs> they're always chomping. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to complete the whole set because of how big it is. Um, how many cards are in this set? 182, and that's not including any of the art rares and everything like that. Um, but I will open this, and I'll open up the two ETBs. Any other, you know, packs I get in collection boxes and stuff like that, I'll open. But I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to complete this like I did with, um, other sets. I, I've been trying to get the base sets for most of them. Um, it's just really hard to pull some of the cards from me. I end up just getting duplicates of all the same cards I already have. Um, which is a little silly. That's a very, very cute Jolte. That's giving me some uh, Van Gogh vibes, like the, the Pikachu with the gray hat that's been popular recently. I really like that card. That's very, very cute. But so far, I'm liking the art for this set. 
Um, so hopefully I can get a decent chunk of the regular set collected with this, uh, this base set. And we got a Steelix Art Rare! Sweet! This is, uh, one of, uh, I think a lot of people's, like, chase cards, which I could see why. I mean, it's a really cool piece of art. Steelix helping out in a construction site that's very, um, topical for me, because I do work in a form of construction. Um, I help with maintaining bridges. So, little, little cool card for me to get. A little Steelix helping out build a building. We got some, uh, iron workers up there. Uh, you got a, uh, Girder, I think his name is Girder, and then Timber down there helping out. But then you have the Steelix Town above all. He's helping transport everything up, up and down. That's a really sweet looking card. Very happy I got that. When I saw um, overviews of all the, the art rares you can get from the set, that was one that I was hoping I can pick up. So I'm super happy with that, that pull. It's a really cool looking card. All right, so we got one art rare already out of... How many packs are we already in? Like three or four? That's not, that's not bad. Um, hopefully the pull rates for this box are kind of similar that we've seen with Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully we get like three art rares. Um, I think it's kind of 50-50 with the EXs, but you can get um, at least one uh, Terra EX and then maybe like two full arts and a secret art rare. So hopefully that pull rate is kind of similar for this booster box. I'm, I'm hoping for that. Get a nice cross section of what to expect with this set. Um, see all that fun stuff. A lot of the secret art rares look really nice from what I've seen, and uh, it seems like a lot of the chase ones, as usual, are um, trainer cards. They have a really cool parasol lady one, which I've seen online, and it seems like her color, her eye color changes, which is really cool. So if I could see that in person, I'd be more than happy to get that card. Um, it's a really cool looking one, but like I've been saying so far, I really like the art that they've chosen for this set. It helps each card uh, stand out. As we get a uh, gold. God, I, I always struggle saying this guy's name. Golisopod EX. There we go. Super, super cool. Um, yeah, put him in his sleeve. Oops. I, I forgot. I, was, I looked at the, the hollow and I didn't put him in his sleeve. I was like, oh, am I not doing that? Yes, I am. <laughs> Golisopod EX. Look at that. All right. Two EXs down already. Hopefully, um, you know, the, the pulls are evenly distributed into this box and we don't have all this uh this good pulls at the beginning and then we have nothing at the end but we shall see um speaking of pull rates though i saw some openings for etbs and it seems like the pull rates for etbs in general are like really 50 50. i saw some people get you know around three pulls which is kind of normal um for an etb and then i saw someone get like one full art out of an entire etb which is crazy that's a really really bad pull rate so um yeah hopefully we get we get good pull rates and here we go here is a future hollow which so we could compare that with the ancient one iron jugulus i'll bring the brute bonnet out from the back here so here are the two different types of cards we will see with the ancient and future pokemon it's really cool i like the the you know it helps these cards stand out it's very unique i really like it i'm more of an ancient girly because i played scarlet but the future ones look really nice as well um, and there are some art rares of uh, the, the ancient and future ones, which I'm hoping we can maybe get one. Um, if not, we will see one uh, whenever we open up an ETB. Um, both promo cards are ancient and future. So, so there's that to look forward to. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's keep on going. Mindfu, Pharisee, very cute to gibble, Panpour. Orthworm, Toad's Cruel, Screamtail. Screamtail is the promo of the um, Roaring Moon ETB. Um, and then Zacian Hollow. There's a lot of legendaries as hollows in this set, which is kind of interesting, and they don't get any um, art rares or something like that. And uh, one thing that I found really interesting when I was kind of briefly looking over the set is that Mewtwo got a Terra card. But no other card other than that, which is just shocking to me because Mewtwo is very much a fan favorite um, in the Pokemon community. So I just find it pretty interesting that, you know, he didn't get anything other than just the Terra card. I'm surprised they didn't give him a full art at least. But, you know, maybe he'll get one in a, in a future set. And he did get a lot of focus um, on himself with the uh, 151 uh, with the, uh, the Mew box and everything like that. So maybe the Pokemon company just wanted to give him a break. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting choices with the set, but interesting in a good way. 
So I'm hoping we can see some more of those rare cards as we go along with this opening. Um, we've seen this Blitzel art countless times, but I'm, I really like it. It's very pretty. Um, it reminds me of, um, I don't know the name of the actual product, but it's when you uh, kind of shave away at this matte black paint on top of a um, rainbow um, piece of paper, and so it reveals the rainbow as you chip away at it. Um, it reminds me of that. I did that in art class. And oh my goodness, the cutest little Fue Coco. Glad he's still getting some love. Still have yet to get my uh, certain Fue Coco card, but I will be happy with that one. Always happy with Fue Coco cards. Uh, but yeah, that Blitzel card reminded me of that type of art where um, there's like this rainbow pattern underneath a matte black paint and you chip away at the matte black paint and you end up with... Uh, you know, you reveal the rainbow texture and you end up with uh, whatever you carve into it and that that art in the rainbow paint. I don't know. Yeah, I hope uh, you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but it, the card reminded me of that. There's a very cute Manti card I'm hoping to get from this set. Um, so let's see if we can get any pulls out of these ones. And speaking of pulls, we got a Tapu Coco EX Full Art. So this is one of our full arts from, uh, from this booster box. And... Hey, I'll take a Tapu Coco. This is a really cool looking card too. Um, I like the, the patterns in the background and everything. Um, some people aren't too crazy about Tapu Coco or the Alolan Legendaries uh, in that manner, but this is a really sweet looking card. I'm happy to get that. Always happy to get full arts. Um, I'd prefer a Pokemon full art over a trainer one, but I will say some of the trainer ones in the set look really, really nice. Um, I do like the selection they have for that, so maybe we will get a trainer one eventually, but that Tapu Coco one right there, that's really sweet. I'm happy to get that one. The colors, like the, the yellow, orange standing out behind the blue, I think it looks great. They did really good on that one. Um, and this, this set in general, they've done really good with all the art. You just keep on going back to that, but all, all the stuff that I've seen online, I mean, even these, these regular cards, I mean, it's just great. Tatsugiri like him being sassy. There's a very cute Swablu card that I'd like to get from this set. Um, th there's a lot of ones that I'd like to get. Maybe th this will be one of the sets that I get a little bit more than normal, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to chase after it. Maybe I'll buy some singles at one of the card shops um, that I go to. Um, they do have a binder that's full of uh, singles that you can buy, and so maybe eventually as the set, you know, uh, stays in the market a little bit longer, you know, um, as time passes, maybe there'll be some singles I can get from, from them over there. Oh, very cute snow run, chilly in a cave. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool cards and I, I'm loving all the art rares that they've been putting out, um, and all these new sets and everything. It just, it helped, it makes collecting these cards even more fun than before. And I, I like that they're still changing things up for even the players with the, the future and the, the ancient cards. It seems like you have to have a special trainer in order to activate them, which is cool. Um, and I know they were, uh, teasing at Pokemon Worlds the comeback of Ace Spec, I think it was, um, the type of trainer cards. Um, I think maybe that'll be in a future set. I'm not too sure. Or if I've not been paying attention and they've already been back, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I haven't heard that many people talking about it. Ooh, but we do have something that people have been talking about. Garchomp EX, water type. Really, really cool. I love the tarot cards. I'll say this every single time I, see, I, I look at them, but they're so cool. The rainbow see the rainbow with the reflection, all the all the jewels and stuff like that. And I just think it, it I, I don't know how it plays um, in terms of um, the card game and competitively and all that stuff, but I think it probably adds a nice twist to the game when, you know, you bring out a Pokemon that's normally, I think Garchomp's normally fighting type. He's a dragon ground type in the actual game. So he's either a dragon or um, a fighting type in the card game. Um, and I just think it's really interesting that they retype him in water in this case and like in um, other sets like Obsidian Flames, you know, they had Charizard as a dark type. I just think it's really cool. It probably brings a nice uniqueness and um, breath of fresh air to, to the game that, you know, helps change things up. Um, I'm not too sure about like how decks work and competitive stuff and all that. Like if you need to make a, a deck within one set and play against one of the same sets. So like you make a deck for Paradox Rift and you have to fight a Paradox Rift deck. I'm not too sure how that works in terms of competitiveness, but ooh, really cool Milotic. 
but I do like how they keep on trying to change up, you know, the gameplay of the game every once in a while with these new types of cards and everything like that with the ancient future and the uh, the terror types. I, th I think it's fun. And as a collector, it gives us, you know, new types of cards to get, which is always fun. It's always fun to get new things. We've seen this Toxel countless times, but it's a very cute claymation. That reminds me of a new card that I do want to get. Um, I keep on remembering ones, but there's a claymation Apom um, art rare, and I would be more than happy to get that one. That one's very, very cute. As we get a Bombardier EX, here we go. Getting a bunch of hits now. Hopefully they're evenly distributed within this box because we still have a whole other half to go. But super cool. Bombardier kind of freaks me out. <laughs> I don't like him. But uh, it's a, it's good to, to add to the collection. Um, I think he's a weird Pokemon. He, he kind of weirded me out <laughs> when I played the game. Um, he just likes to drop rocks on people, I guess. <laughs> it's a little silly. Um, but hey, another card for the collection. I'll always take it. Um, hopefully we don't get what we got um, when we open up the Paldea Evolved one and get two of the same EXs. Hopefully we can get all new cards because I want to be able to show a good cross section of, uh, of Paradox Rift. So let's see if we can keep on getting some new cards. Just regular hollow with that one. Um, yeah, I, I hope you guys are liking the new set. Um, if you got any cool crazy pulls, opening up on your own let me know in the comments down below um but before this set came out i did end up caving and i i bought the the trick or trade um you know pack of cards and i already completed the set and i still have so many sealed packs um so if you know me and you want a trick or trade uh trick or trade little uh pack let me know i got plenty <laughs> i got plenty Oh, Snorlax doll, very cute. Oh, and the cute little snow run art card. This is one that I wanted. Uh, and also our Peko Hollow that we've already seen. Here's your code. I seen this one and I, I, I'm happy I got it. He's very, very cute. He's just so happy in the snow. He's having fun. Having so much fun in the snow. Speaking of snow, we already got an icing over where I live. Isn't that great? Um, I think some people have already gotten snowfalls. Um, oops, my, as I say falls, my entire stack of cards that I have off to the side just fell. Um, let me reorganize that real quick. <laughs> bring, bring everything back up so I don't throw these cards off onto the ground. <laughs> but yeah, we already got an icing where I live, which is just dandy. Um, I work with, uh, with a state where, you know... The state agency, I should say, where, you know, some people are in charge of cleaning up the snow and they're already calling in for overtime and stuff like that. So that's always interesting. <laughs> it's that time of season. Um, I had the option to sign up for that overtime and I was like, no, I like my sleep. <laughs> I don't want to clean up snow. I like playing in the snow. I like, you know, seeing the snow fall, but cleaning it up, I don't think anyone likes that. <laughs> but it's good money and good money I could use to buy more Pokemon cards, but oh well. Um... <laughs> I have my priorities. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, that card just reminds me that uh, snow is coming. Um, right after Halloween. Screamtail. Uh, ooh, that's a reverse. That's cool. It's a cool way the reverse looks. And a Palkia Hollow. Um, Halloween, you know, just occurred and we're already getting snow. That's always great. <laughs> I say sarcastically. But, you know, I am i don't mind the cold that much. Uh, I'm a hockey player, so... I like the cold. I've, I've been used to it. So, we'll see when we get our first actual snowfall. We will see. And I'm curious um, if we're going to get any um, Christmas sets or anything like that this time around. We will see. I know that there's, uh, I think I talked about this in my previous video, but there are rumblings of a shiny set. Iron Moth Hollow, very cool looking. Of a shiny set releasing in Japan, and I have a feeling that's going to be our holiday set this year. But we will see. We shall see. Um, but for now, I want to focus on the, the on fall and not snow, even though <laughs> I keep on talking about it with that little snow run hanging out in the background. It's nothing about snow just yet. Let's wait for the month of November to end, end a little bit, or get a little bit closer to the end. Let's not have it at the beginning. <laughs> um, oh, Tandy Mouse. I know there's a mouse hold full art that I really want. That one's very cute. Um, it has a very funny name to move as, as well. Um, next time I see the, the mouse hole card, I'll, uh, I'll point it out. It's a very silly name. 
Um, but we were getting a decent cross section of, of this set. So hopefully I can fill out a decent amount of my binder just with this one, uh, one booster box. And then, like I said, um, I'm planning eventually to get the ETBs. Um, I don't have them right now, but planning on getting those, opening that up on here. And so that's even more cards for the collection. And then we can see a decent uh, cross section of, you know, pull rates and stuff like that for the set. But so far, it's been treating us pretty well. Pretty well. I'm, I'm waiting for the um, secret illustration rare or secret art rare, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's interesting that it's different between the uh, English printing and the Japanese one. In the Japanese printing, they're called, I think, the illustration rares. But here, we call them the art rares. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Wismer. That's a new one. Dooblade's also a new one. I think we've seen Sirskit before. It's like every other pack we're getting some new cards, which is great. I, I love to see it. I'd rather get new cards and duplicates. Ooh, Deoxys Hollow. That's interesting. And I'm surprised he's a regular Hollow and not a not, not a higher tier card. I know a lot of people love Deoxys. But there's they're giving plenty of love to all the new the new Pokemon, which is good because you know, some people are like, oh, why aren't they giving, you know, the, the classic Pokemon all the good cards? You know, they're giving it all to these new guys. Well, they want us to know the names, so they want to make them stand out, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy that all the new guys are getting fancy cards. I, l I love most of the new, new Pokemon and their designs and stuff like that, so love to see what the artists do, what kind of situations they put them in, in in art and stuff like that. So I'm more than happy to see that. And then whenever they bring back the classics, it just makes them that much better, you know? If you keep on making cards of all the classic Pokemon, they're gonna get it, they're just gonna get real old real fast. So if you change it up and you put the new guys in the spotlight for a little bit, it, it makes the the older guys, you know, hit that much differently when you pull pull a cool Mewtwo card or something like that, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honedge, Garbodor, and a Woshen. Okay. All right. That's a new new hollow. Always good to get. Um, we're almost we're getting close to the end of this 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 booster box. Hopefully we can get something crazy soon. We have two of the art rares, so I think we're due for at least one more. Probably due for another EX and then we still have to get the ultra rare of this box either if it's a secret illustration rare or um, a gold card. I'm really hoping for a secret illustration rare or art rare or whatever. Um, oh, cute little vanilla, very cute. We're getting all the ice types. Uh, <laughs> we're getting all the icy boys. Hold on, let me get the sleeve. Sometimes I love how simplistic the art can be for these. Um, you know, the cartoonish they kind of lean into and stuff like that. That's a really cute card. He's working at an ice cream shop. I wonder how he feels about that. Um, <laughs> I wonder if he sees himself in the ice cream that's getting served. I hope not. Um, but a very cute little Pokeball ice cream. Uh, the, the This kind of type of food, like the drawing and everything, reminds me of Kirby a little bit. But that's very cute. But the, the drawing of the humans reminds me of Animal Crossing. Um, so it's a nice merge of that. That's a very cute card. Very, very cute. We're getting all the cuties today. Other than the Steelix. The Steelix is a cool one. But I, I'm very happy with the, the art rares that we got. So as I was speaking uh, that we were due for one, we got one. So that's, that's really neat. And oh, here we go. Vanillite, the pre-evolution. How fitting is that? <laughs> very, very cute. I don't think we're going to get another art rare from this, which is fine. That means that, you know, we have the opportunity getting more in our future openings. But... Um, I think we're due for the, the ultra rare. Hopefully we can get that. I'm crossing my fingers that we don't get a dud box like last time. I mean, you know, at least last time we got a gold card. If we didn't get anything, like any ultra rare, I'm going to be a little bummed. Because <laughs> um, that's the one perk of, um, you know, the English printing of Pokemon cards is that you uh, you tend to have more generous pull rates than, uh, than the Japanese ones. Uh, Claymation Octillery, very cute. Um, but yeah, in the Japanese print, typically you open up one box and you are guaranteed one- Ooh, Mewtwo EX! Here we go! Um, let me finish my thought first. But in the Japanese printing, you're guaranteed one Ultra Rare or- Yeah, I think it, they still call it the Ultra Rare. But in the case for those printings, that includes full art. So you can open up an entire booster box and just get one full art. Which is crazy. Uh, as someone who opens up, um, Mostly English sets, that's kind of crazy. Um, but let's focus on this pull right here. We got two Terra cards, which is interesting. Normally you only get one, but we got a Mewtwo EX. 
Sweet! I'll take it. I'll take that Mewtwo EX. I was just talking about him. Um, seems like he's more common. It's like almost every single opening that I've watched online, someone's gotten the Mewtwo EX. So maybe they, they made his pull rate a little, um, what's the word? A little nicer? A little more, um, forgiving? <laughs> Because uh, probably a lot of people would want that one. I saw this art. I'm really happy I got this one. This is a very funny Wiglet card. Um, but yeah, what I was saying about the... Uh, oh, if we go, go. The Japanese boxes is that they they lump secret art rares, um, full arts, and gold cards all within the same category. So you can buy a whole booster box of cards and only get a full art as your rarest pull which is crazy that's crazy to me and as someone you know who opens up english cards that's that's not the norm um that we get we're, we're a little spoiled here with our pull rates but um that's why a lot of the japanese cards are just more expensive than the rare cards that you see in the english printing it's because our pull rates are a little bit more generous and it's a little bit harder for um collectors and everything to uh to get the the rarer cards as we get an iron valiant ex so far no duplicates with our exs which is fantastic i'm really really happy with that and we got the iron valiant which is uh one of the the mascots of this set as you can see with iron valiant chilling out at the top there very very cool super super cool I think Iron Valiant is the, the future form of Gardevoir specifically. I don't know if Gallade has one. Or is it a mixture of both maybe? I'm not too sure. Um, like I said, I haven't played Violet. I played Scarlet. So, I mean, even then they don't really tell you. But I think it's I think Iron Valiant is a Gardevoir um, reskin, not a Gallade one because of the hair. The hair is kind of a giveaway for me. Um, Snow Runt, very cute. Cute little guy. They, they did him wonders in the set. Joltik, adorable. The, the Joltik art, art rare in the set is also adorable. They, they really went hard with the cute cards in the set. Um, so, you know, at the beginning of the video, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to collect this much. I might end up collecting that much because of how cute the cards are in this set. They, they went hard with those. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll probably just buy them singles and I, I, I probably won't open as much as I did with uh, Kov Kov Paldea Evolved. Um, I put a little bit too much money into that set. <laughs> More than I'd like to admit. Um, oh, still getting new cards with that Seedra. Sweet. Oh, as I flip around cards. Vanillite. Oricorio. Minior. Simipore. Zebstrika. The Blade. Tinkatink. Oh, and I think I see some texture. Um, ooh, Mila, uh, full art. I think, yeah, this is the full art. I looked at the rarity at the bottom, but she does have a, uh, secret illustration run. I think this is one of the more popular full arts, uh, full art trainers. Um, makes sense. It's the waifu cards, but, um, I'm happy with that. She was one of, um, the, uh, team, uh, team star characters I liked. Um, I wish they would show a full shot of her because she wears ridiculous fire boots. It's kind of crazy. Um, but they... This, this almost looks like a, uh, a secret illustration rare, um, secret art rare or whatever, with just the, the texture, the um, perspective, the way it's drawn and everything. It's a really nice full art. That is a full art I am happy with. Like I said, I don't go out of my way for the, um, the trainer full arts, just because, you know, I'm more of a, a Pokemon fan, but when it's a named character, like Mila in this case, and I think they have one... Oh, what's their name? Rika. Um, those ones look really nice. I think they also have one for Larry. When it's a named character, I like those. When it's like a background character like Beauty or something like that, I don't really care as much. Um, but I do like the named ones. Um, yeah, Rika. There we go. Rika has a really cool full art. As well as the professors, I believe. So, um, hopefully in future openings we can see more of those. But I'm happy with the Mila one. It's a really cool looking card. It kind of fits with the Steelix vibe too. It looks like she's got scaffolding in the background, um, which is pretty nice or neat. <laughs> um, we are in within our final three packs too. So we're still holding out for a uh, an, an art rare or illustration rare, secret illustration rare. So hopefully in one of these final packs we get one. That or we're gonna get gypped again. We'll see. We shall see. Very cute Snorlax doll. Larry, I can't tell if I see texture behind this Feebus. Nope, I do not. I just saw the shine of the hollow. All right, final two packs. Um, it'll be kind of fitting if uh, if our rarest card is in the final final pack, but we will see. 
we shall see. Let's get this one open. Second to last pack of our first Paradox Rift opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, longer video. Um, and enjoyed the full booster box openings. Let me know if you want to see more just full booster box openings rather than two-parters. I've been doing two-parters more to save money. Um, but if you guys are enjoying them, I know I am. I like opening a booster box in one uh, op sitting. And we got our secret art rare as I'm going on a ramble. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if you want to see more full, full booster box openings for new sets, let me know. And as I was speaking of, um, of the professors getting, uh, their own full arts and stuff, our secret art rare of this opening is Professor Turo's Scenario. Um, I would be more inclined for Sada, just because, like I said, I played Scarlet rather than Violet, but this is a great card. Look at all that texture on that and all his shine. That's really nice looking. He's got the, the Sysazar in the background there, you know, foreshadowing Muridon and Coridon. Um, you, you even have the, the future texture up there. That's really nice. There you go. You kind of get the reflection off there so you can kind of see the full art of it. That's really nice. Very happy I got that pull. So we got back-to-back -back trainers. Interesting. Um, but that that is a beautiful card. That I'm more than happy to get that. Um, I'm, happy, I'm happy that's one of my, my pulls for this. And here is our final pack of Paradox Rift. Um, and then we will do our recap right at the end. Um, but I think we, we got we got decent pulls from this. We, we made out good. We, we did good with this one. Um, this was a good box. We didn't get uh, gypped like uh, how I did with the uh, Paldea Vault one. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that one. That one was a little bit of a bummer. But this one, not so much. Reverse uh, Iron Moth. I love the way the, the future and ancient Pokemon look in their reverses. And we end it on a Volca Volcanian Hollow. Alright, let me um, get myself all collected, you know, organize my setup, and we'll be back for the recap. See you then. Alrighty, and we're back for our recap with the first one. In our recap, as our first pull of this box, the Goldango EX, the Cheese Stick Man himself. Um, following that up, we have the Golisopod EX. Very, very cool. Bombardier EX, still unsettling to me. I don't like him, but happy to get the card. Iron Valiant EX, super happy to get a future EX. He got the pattern, that future pattern right over there. Very, very cool. Mewtwo EX, Terra. A very interesting pick uh, for this set, and the fact that Mewtwo only has this card, like I was saying earlier, but still very happy to get this card. It's really cool. He's also an electric type, which is interesting. Um, following up with an interesting typing is the Garchomp EX. I'm happy to get this. I love the Garchomp line, so I'm, I'm very happy with this. Like I said, my Gibbles are always named Chompers. I love them. They're, li they're just little guys, and uh, I'm more than happy to get Garchomp. He's one of my, my favorite dragon types. And then into our um, art rares, we got this very, very cute Animal Crossing Kirby-esque uh, vanillish. Very, very, very cute. Happy to get that one. Going into a really cool looking card, we got this Steelix art rare. Um, kind of, you know, construction site vibes and everything like that. You got two other Pokemon hanging out on the bottom there. You got Girder and um, Timber helping out on the site. He's a little lift, bringing everyone up and down with all the iron workers. Very, very cool looking card. Happy to get that one. And following up with a very, very cute little snow run to playing around in the snow. I love the little guy. You can even see in the bottom there, you know, there's a little snow run shape. He's making his little snow run angels, I guess. Um, maybe even building a snowman. Very cute. Very cute uh, winter vibes. Um, and then, going into our full arts, we got this Tapu Koko EX. Um, our only Pokemon full art of this, but uh, I'm happy to get this one. He looks really nice. I love the zigzags in the background and all the colors that they chose. Very cool. Then we got this Mila, kind of giving me the, the Steelix vibes with the scaffolding in the background, but the, the art on this card is amazing. They could probably excuse this one to be a uh, secret art rare if they really wanted to, but I'm happy to get it as my regular full art. And then, speaking of our secret art rares, we got Professor Turo's scenario. And, the texture on this one goes crazy. Let me take it out of sleep too, just so you could see how crazy the texture is. Like that's, that's wild. Um, but I'm happy to get this one. Um, the professors are always my favorite part of uh, Pokemon games in terms of uh, NPCs and stuff like that. So I'm happy to get this one. And uh, yeah, really cool looking card. But that's been 
our um, our opening of a Paradox Rift booster box. So it seems like in terms of pull rates, you can get four regular EXs, two Terra EXs. I don't know if that's an anomaly because typically I think you only get one. Then um, as usual, you get three illustration rares, two full arts and one secret art rare, or I guess um, gold card equivalent. Um, maybe a gold card can also be randomly inserted. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe we'll test the, that theory in future booster box openings. But yeah, that has been my Paradox Rift opening. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like if you liked. And um, if you want to see more openings and stuff like that for me, um, subscribe and I will upload, you know, every single Saturday. And I'll catch you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace.